Okay, this is Socom Glitchmaster. I'm gonna show you how to make an internet browser in Visual Basic 6.0. Um, open up your Visual Basic and select standard.exe. Right click here, components. Find Microsoft Internet Controls. Select the little check mark. Hit apply. Hit close. You should have a little thing right there, like a little earth, or if you it's web browser. Um, so, select your web browser, put it like four dots down, make it any random size, oops, did it wrong, um, do it like right here and make it any random size you want, I'm going to put mine like right there just for right now and then you can scroll all the way down and click and drag this all the way down and make that go to the bottom and let's go all the way over to the edge over here so you have basically a big window um, which has like a little teeny bit on the top that doesn't have the web browser the rest of this will be the web browser itself that will show the website the white part okay I have already made pictures but you can make pictures make like pictures that say like back and forward and stuff like that so then select picture box make a picture box go over here click on this go to your picture um, there's my back icon but you can make that bigger so you can actually see it um, So you put your back picture in, and you do s you do the rest of your pictures in line, um, in order. Make sure you put your first picture you add in as back, the second picture as forward, the third picture as go, because we're gonna put in a text box here, and then the word go, so you can click on it, and then put like home. Um, so it should end up looking like this. Put in the work forward. Select your text button, uh, your text bo text box, whatever. Make a, like a um, pretty good sized text box, um, and put the text to like anything you want. Put the text to whatever you want there, the page to be when you open it up. Like I'll type in my website right there. Um, so make that little text box. Whoops. Okay. Continue making the pictures for like home, home and stuff like that. So here's the home button. Actually, no, you want to do your uh, go button first. The go button and then the home button. And then you can add in other stuff as you want to, like right there and stuff. However you want to add it. Um, after you got your buttons in there and you have your text box in there, click up here, change the caption to whatever you want. I'm going to name it Internet Browser. And now it's up there. And uh, go to back color. Well, I'm going to, so it makes it look better. Um, black. So there we go. Is that. Um, you have that you can make like another button here or like search or something like that whatever you want um, basically after you have everything in like the text box and the um, back forward button double click on back type web browser one dot go back go up here hit the X double click on forward hit web browser one dot go forward um, then 
and go up to the X. Um, scroll over. Double click on go. Type navigate uh, web browser one dot navigate. Um, text one dot text. Double click on home and click web. I'm um, in type web browser one dot go home. Double click, no, right click and hit view code. Go up to here, click general. No, just kidding. Go up there and click form. Type in here whatever you want the website to come up when they open it up. Like, yeah, so I'm going to type my website again. Wait, type navigate, no, web browser one dot navigate. www.skywalknation.com uh, Those actually might have to be in quotes. Now, hit play. Play, um... Type in a website. Well, you see here my website loaded up. Um, YouTube.com. Hit go. And this works. So that's basically a web browser. Um, you can change the colors, play with the buttons, and all that. When you're done, go to File make project 1.exe save to desktop name it explorer or whatever you want wait for it and then you'll have it on your desktop right there so thanks for watching and uh, subscribe